Good Friday evening, folks. It is Earthmaster here checking in with an earthquake update here for Friday, October 23rd, 2020. It's the date 8 11 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Woo. Anyway, latest quake here on the globe a 3.0 in Kansas, of all places out there. Of course, Oklahoma, Southern Plains, Central Plains area can get some earthquakes out there tonight uh, definitely happening a little bit out there not a whole lot but a three-pointer I'm sure a few folks may have felt that let me run over here to a, a different map here real quick just kind of hit the uh, record button and going with the flow don't really have anything prepared tonight just gonna go with some uh, standard stuff take a look at that 3.0 out here in Kansas they do have some fracking operations out there as well but you know I'm not gonna 100% blame it on fracking because it is uh, uh, it is possible to get some earthquakes out there that are not man related or man caused I should say so what do we got near Hope Kansas let's hope that's a beautiful town out there actually I think been over there to parts of Kansas when I'm out there uh, storm chasing mostly western Kansas southwestern Kansas area right around uh, Pratt but this one anyway 3.0 it's looking uh, kind of like it's out there maybe in some cornfields wheat fields something out there I don't see any nearby fracking operations I just see some farmhouses and stuff like that so uh, yeah kind of kind of the same for the activity that's occurring down there in um, Oklahoma just a little bit of uh, uh, earthquake activity down there as well not as much as we seen last night but uh, there's a little 3.3 out there not a whole lot of major quakes or any moderate qu quakes out here in the West Coast the uh, swarm that we were talking about last night as uh, well it's popped off a few more earthquakes some minor ones right around the uh, Salton Sea area looks like the 2.9 that we've seen earlier is the uh, the largest at least in that little cluster there kind of you know these swarms they come and go it, it could be it could have a hundred earthquakes in a swarm in one day and then completely stop altogether which is very common um, little quake out there uh, let's see but what else we got here folks overall California looking pretty quiet far as general earthquake activity out here along a major plate boundary just uh, very very quiet for right, <clears throat> for right now uh, same goes for ne for Nevada out here a small little swarm of uh, earthquakes you know I'm wondering I'm kind of wondering how long that's going to continue out there it's been uh, quite a few months since they had that uh, ooh what was that six pointer I think earlier this year I'm gonna have to do a recap on that and see uh, when exactly that larger earthquake took place because they've been having swarms like this or aftershocks I should say for quite some time of course that was a pretty good uh, fault rupture out there <clears throat> some quakes in an obvious area out there in the mountainous area out there in Utah you can see some microquakes and some little swarming going on out here near Milford and Beaver of course this is the mountains right and you do get uh, some uplift and whatnot uh, that create those mountains plate tectonics right so this little swarm out here I don't believe is anything to worry about. I really haven't looked into it too much. Let's see what we got out here. Now this stuff, this kind of looks like some type of, not a ranch, it looks like some type of uh, something. I see a couple, few ponds out there and some, uh, some other stuff going on here. These quakes are just within about, oh, a thousand feet or so within that area I can't really zoom in anymore on the 
uh, on the uh, Google Chrome USGS map, I'd have to pull up the Google Earth map uh, individual app to take a look a little bit closer, but uh, if this continues, we may check it out a little bit later tomorrow. There's some definitely some mountains out there and some oddball looking uh, features, you know, from above. Kind of kind of crazy looking there. A little outline. I'm sure some of this stuff may be old old uh, ancient volcanoes or whatnot. Look at this stuff over here. Now that is some type of pumping operations. Kind of something you'd see out there in a uh, Oklahoma or Kansas. We're just fracking the heck out of the earth, aren't we? Wow. Okay, anyway. Got way off there. Um, let's get back to a little bit of activity here up in Utah. Obviously, where we check that out. Uh, Pacific Northwest up here rumbling a little bit more. I shouldn't say rumbling, but uh, having a few earthquakes out there right around Mount St. Helens. You can see that little quake out there, a little point six. Speaking of, you know, the Utah area real quick. You guys see the depth of these earthquakes here? Most of them are negative. Negatory. Negative quakes. Let's check this one out here real quick. Reviewed. And they have this set, uh, well, uncertainty there. Here's the uncertainty level. They got this at, uh, looks like a point two, So just below the surface there. You're going to have to... Kind of have to... Uh, keep an eye on... That. That's, that's kind of... Wow. Okay, hold on. Alright, well... Yeah, it's just kind of strange. We'll check back on that later, I suppose. Uh, yeah, back over here to Washington, Mount St. Helens, seen a little bit of microquake activity and uh, some activity outside of Mount Rainier, about 10 miles or so from that beautiful volcano out there, and some microquakes out there around Seattle as well. Um, yeah, I still got it, man. I really want to uh, bring in on the update about the Seattle fault up there. It's pretty, a couple good articles I found on it about uh, this, this whole system up here, how it could produce a, uh, well, about a 7.0 earthquake or so. That would uh, ultimately create, uh, well, a localized tsunami there. And with Seattle being right next to it, uh, it, it could be a worse if this fault here were to rupture compared to the Cascadia subduction zone for Seattle. The folks along the coast or anywhere outside of this general region, uh, Cascadia would be the uh, ultimate player. I've seen an article, something about uh, some, some uh, fault systems up there around the Portland area as well. Of course, um, you know, anywhere, anywhere out here along the west coast you can see earthquakes, right? Just because there isn't really a fault here on the USGS map doesn't mean that uh, you know you're not going to see earthquakes. So, going to have to cover that a little bit later. I keep pushing this off, man. But I've just been pretty swamped all day. Been out in the wind again, and it's just been. It wasn't as windy today, but uh, it was windy enough and dry. All right, enough yabadooing. Uh, trimmer map up here. Still continuing to wind down a little bit. So we're looking at 206 epicenters of trimmer. Still mostly confined to the Washington, South Washington area, and also in the Northern California as well. So, kind of looks very similar to last night's trimmer map. So that's obvious. Uh, we're we're just gonna pretty much do a, a duplicate tonight of that. It's looking like, a, well, actually up here around Oregon, it's a little bit different than last night, I believe. As far as trimmer goes, this is not surface quakes, folks something something I should say slow slip events going on well below the surface here on the uh, Cascadia subduction zone the slippage slipping area quite a bit of uh, videos I've covered on that in the past 
If you want to know more about the specifics of the Cascadia subduction zone, you can check out, uh, uh, just do a search of the channel. You should be able to find a few videos of that. Oh man, I am just not here tonight. It's Friday night and uh, it's, yeah, it's just not good. Not good. Another fun day of outdoors tomorrow. Woohoo! No, I don't. I don't mind being outdoors. I'd rather be outdoors in a in a, in office or a warehouse or something like that. You know. Okay. Man, I am just rambling. Let's go over here real quick, folks. Today in earthquake history, I did have that over here and it looks like I lost a page there somewhere it wasn't uh, too big of a quake 5.6 in Morocco back in 1992 was the, uh, the earthquake on that date I'm sure there was a lot more in 1992 but specifically that the USGS has here uh, looks like there was uh, yeah, some damage and whatnot the earthquake was felt throughout much of Morocco uh, from these areas here so well, not, not a big quake, but definitely uh, shaking things up out there. All right, guys, I am going to call it, and uh, I'm going to attempt to get everything a little bit better. Show tomorrow, not show, but uh, update, I should say. I'm not on the radio. Yellowstone, pretty quiet. A little couple microquakes there. You can see that there in Upper Falls and Norris Junction. Some other wind events. We got a major, major wind event coming up here Sunday evening. Uh, probably the strongest one of the year. We've had some good wind events so far. But this one here, it's going to be a dandy. It's going to be uh, potentially 50 mile per hour winds here where I'm at. 70 above 70 mile per hour gust up in the mountains so any uh, any potential fires out there is going to be catastrophic if it happens hopefully it doesn't though there will be more power outages uh, hopefully i'm not affected but then again you know it's all wind dependent here where i'm at Stay safe out there, folks. Friday night, uh, it's pretty crazy out here where I live. A lot of a lot of uh, youngsters out there driving their hot rods around and, you know, having fun, I guess. Something I used to do. But what's fun? I for completely forgot what fun is. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later, probably tomorrow. Peace.